Oh, hello and welcome, it's Annie van Wensberg and today I want to show you an easy way to make stencils. Uh, you need a um, baking paper, the one that you can put in the oven if you bake something and put it for a liner into your pan. It must be very um, the, the one that you don't need to put any um, oil or grease or something into the pan. And then I've just got a piece of, you can use an old book as well. I've, I've just got this piece of um, super wood that I'm going to use and a silicone mat to do your um, stencils on top of it and then a, a heat gun, a, a, um, sorry, a, oh, my, what do you call it, a glue gun. So um, I'm just going to make random patterns, you can start, I, you, you must just check, uh, you, if you want thicker lines you must go very slowly, if you want thinner lines you can go a little bit uh, quicker. So just connect them everywhere because they you can't uh, make them and not connect them because then they won't work. So uh, I'm just going to make a random pattern. I'm connecting all the time. Don't worry if it's a little bit thicker or thinner. You can always go back, make it thicker. You can see there I didn't connect it, so I'm just going to quickly connect that. So whatever you want to do, you can do now. You can, you can, if you want to draw it first on top of a paper and then go over this or whatever, you can do that as well. Uh, I just want to show you quickly. I'm not going to put too much thought into this. And then... Uh, you can start making your own. You can you can take an intricate pattern that you photocopy and put it underneath and work on top of that. I'm too impatient. I can't do that, so I'm just going to. Uh, I'm always free freestyling it, so I like the organic form. So yeah, it's just what you like. Okay, I'm gonna stop for now. Just be careful, this thing is very hot. Then I take my piece of my parchment paper. I'm, I'm going to put it on top of this. And I'm going to weigh it down with this little piece of super wood. I'm not going to press too hard. I'm just going to make sure I'm flattening it. Uh, because if you put it on your canvas or on whatever... Um, Thing you are working on on top of you you need it to be flat at the bottom so if you put a spray or anything on top of this stencil that it lays flat on the paper or on your um, canvas or whatever you're using uh, so that it, you don't have too much leakage and, and stuff you can just test it and yeah you can see this is coming it's a little bit hot still there so I'm just gonna leave it there for a while um, I'm always too impatient, so I start taking it off and it's not ready sometimes. Um, it usually comes off very easily of this parchment paper. It struggles a little bit there. You can, you can always use the parchment paper on both sides as well. It doesn't really matter. So, um, there you can see you've got your stencil. I'm just going to leave it for... Uh, few seconds or so that it can just um, get a little bit colder. I see I missed something there. It's very, it's, you must always check before you maybe just flatten it. Okay, you can see I can, can start taking it off. Now let me just wait a minute before I damage the whole thing. So try this and, and let me know in the comment section if, if you like it because it's, um, it's a quick and easy way to do stencils for yourself and it's like no, no, no one, no, nobody else has got this so yeah it's unique and that's what I like usually I like to use the stuff that you don't find in the shops actually because then you, you know you've, you're the only one with this kind of stencil. 
Okay, I'm going to start taking it off now. What it does when you flatten it as well, it makes it a little bit uh, not so thin. Otherwise, if you keep it like the small, uh, you know, when I started out, you can see these lines are very thicker now. You, if you keep it like the ones that I started it off with, it's going to break very easily. And as I said, it's not going to have this flat piece. You will see when I turn it over. Um, you can see there. It's got a lovely flat surface. It will lie flat on your canvas or wherever you're going to use it. And it's not going to stand like that. This, or this is baking paper as we call it in South Africa. You use, you use it to you line your cookie dishes or anything that you put in the oven and uh, it works very nicely. If you've got a silicone mat that will work as well. Uh, just make sure beforehand that you can pull it off nicely and then you are good to go. Um, you can make any type of stencil that you love. Uh, what I use is I use a glue gun. I use a book or a piece of uh, flat support and my parchment paper. And if you want to, you can always draw yourself on this uh, paper, maybe some uh, pattern there. If you turn it over, it will show through. And then you can nicely go over everything here and make your own stencil from another stencil. Or you can just free flow or freestyle this. So um, let's see what we're going to make. Okay, I'm going to try a few words today. And we can see how that goes. Um, Maybe I must just start and uh, just take that down. Just make sure everything is connected. Now you can go back and see if uh, it's maybe a little bit too thin there. I can just touch it up a little bit. I'm just going over here and there. You don't want your stencil to break apart. Now before it's dry, you can just uh, flip it back, put on your little bit of white and just wait a moment before you can start to take this off. It usually takes a minute or so. Okay, I think it's um, all right. I can start to take it off. You can see it was a little bit thick there, but it's all right. You can just throw this away if you don't want to use it. It's not that big a deal. I'm still busy with the stencil, so uh, I'm going to try one that looks like a brick. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but uh, we will see.
well. So I think I'm done with this one. I'm just gonna fold my paper back. Just make sure I flatten it a little bit. Just leave it for a few seconds and then I'll pull it off and we can see how it looks. Now you can start peeling it off. And there you've got this lovely pattern. So I'm going to show you what I usually, what I also love to use. Um, this is just, it always just takes a while to dry. But I'm going to show you quickly there. Then if it's, if it's dry, I'll come back and I will um, show you how it looks. I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, water. This is just paper, a book. It's my uh, scrap, uh, you know, my book where I do all my stuff in. Uh, I'm just going to wet it a little bit with water. It's paper that I've just guessed, guessed. I'm just going to put on a little bit of this ink. You can do this on a, on a canvas as well. I'm just going to spread this a little bit. Um, as this is paper, it's going to buckle a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that too much. So what I usually do, I just put on a little bit of water there, or you can use a water bottle, bottle and spritz it over. And I'm going to put this on top, make sure it touches everywhere. Um, if it lifts up some of a few, few places, you can just put your bottles on top to keep it down. And now you just leave it like this. It must dry. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, while we're waiting for the other one to dry, I've decided to do another one. Um, I used this Sharpie Peel Off China marker. I don't know if you can see there. Uh, just to draw a random start for me. Um, this is a very nice pencil. Um, you can use it on into your arts on glass on everything so i i love this i just made my two three circles and i'm just gonna um connect them all so i don't know how it's going to look when i'm finished but uh, we will see when we use it so i'm gonna start with my circle i'm gonna start with my Dividing in my circle in uh, different um, halves or quarters or whatever. And just to make it a little bit thicker from this end. So you can just uh, maybe go with two lines or you can press harder than when you start to uh, do this. I'm going to stop there. I still want that patterns inside so I'm not going to go all the way through. What I'm going to do now, I'm first going to flatten it and then I'll go with the next step because I'm scared this is not going to dry. I'm 
Okay, so I'm just going to wait a second for it to dry, and then I'll show the show you the next step. Okay, I think it's it's not as hot anymore, so I'm just going to take this off, and uh, I'm going to go um, from this side now into that side. I'm still doing the thick to thin part and make sure I'm connecting it there and there and there. Just gonna make it a little bit thicker. Oh, I made a flop there, but it's alright. I'm just going to take that away later. I didn't connect it that good, so maybe it will work. I think I could have filled it up more, but yeah, it's now too late. I'll just improvise as I go along. And remember, you don't want these things perfect. It's the beauty if they are a little bit not that perfect. Because then they look handmade and in your art as well, they just look right. Just make sure to connect every time. I decided the broad ones, I'm going, oh yeah, there I put my finger into it. You see, you can still do stupid things. Uh, I decided to, um, this big ones, but you can see there's bigger ones, smaller and bigger. I'm going to leave uh, some of them. I'll decide when I come back. I'm going to leave some of them open and some of them I'm going to close. Like this one you can see, I think I'm going to put another one in there, it's just too big. This one can be a small one because the gap where they meet is not too big. And this one as well. Okay, for now I'm just going to flatten it first, I just want to make sure I've touched everywhere and connected them everywhere. So I'm just going to put my parchment paper on top. Flatten. Wait a few seconds.
Okay, there you go. Um, I think I need to fill in there something as well. If you want something more constructed and then you need to plan it more, not like me, you know. So, but as I said, I, I like the the freedom. I think it's gonna hold without that. I need to connect it there. Oh, let me just flatten these. Peel first. If you see they pick up when you start to take this away, you just leave them a little bit longer. That one is still sticking. Usually you can see there when it looks wet. I don't know if you can see that. There. Okay, I'm gonna take it off now and just check if it's if I'm happy with all the, the connections and so on. As I said, you don't want to let it break in the... Oh, it's going to work. Very nice. So there you can see. I'm just going to put it on here so you can see. There you can see um, I don't need to connect this. I will need to take care when I use it, but not. it's not that. It's very sturdy. So um, I hope you enjoyed this and... Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe and hit that bell that you can get future uploads of my next videos. Um, I love to experiment. I love to show you things. And um, if you like and comment and subscribe, you will keep me going on and on and on. So um, you must have a lovely day and um, I will see you next time. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Um, I still needed to take off the stencil. That I wanted to show you. It's not that dry, but I can read. I need to let it dry till tomorrow, and I haven't got the patience for that today. So I'm just going to take it off, and you can see there you've got a very interesting um, pattern. You can either do this or you can spray it. It's up to you. So, um, this is the patterns that I made then. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.